Hey there, Rakutanians! The non-fungible token marketplace Rakuten NFT made the headlines when it launched on February 25th, 2022. To be honest though, there's still a lot of questions around the details of NFT tech, don't you think? So, we've invited a few guests from Rakuten Blockchain Lab to come down and answer some basic questions about NFTs. Welcome to r and Trin. Thank you for having me. To start off, could you give us a basic introduction to NFT tech? Sure. To understand about NFT tech, first, let's talk about blockchains. As you might know, a blockchain is a new type of database and network that links data records or block of data using cryptography technology. Blockchains are typically managed by a peer-to-peer -peer network of nodes to store transactional records that cannot be modified. NFT are one type of digital token that can be stored on the blockchain. Unlike cryptocurrency and other fungible tokens, which don't represent a unique set of data, NFT are primarily used to track ownership of one-of-a-kind assets such as a digital artwork with an actual serial number featuring the Japanese superhero Ultraman. What's more, the NFT for this digital artwork can also be traded and sold to other people, just like any crypto asset. Currently, art and collectible make up most of the digital content being sold and distributed as NFT. Interesting. So how do NFTs differ from conventional or general digital content? Since NFT are all stored on the blockchain, they preserve three main attributes in a technical sense. First, just like with fungible token, only the owner of the private key can transfer an NFT. Each private key is a sequence of letters and number, which is similar to a password. But because blockchain authenticates NFT directly, its ownership is protected in a way that doesn't rely heavily on a single specific administrator. And Second, each NFT has a unique identifier and the number of NFT issued per piece of content can be limited to a certain amount. This allows creators to determine the scarcity of their own asset. Last but not least, Traceability. NFT retain their transfer history, allowing anyone to verify if an NFT is being issued by the official authorized content holder. Hmm, what kind of experience can users get out of purchasing an NFT? Hmm, on Rakuten NFT, not only users can enjoy their digital content, NFT users can also buy and sell on the secondary market. Each NFT has its own serial number, allowing users to purchase multiple NFT of the same content with any serial number of their choice. The entire transaction history for each NFT is visible, which is another interesting characteristic that influences the value of NFT. Okay, so what would you say are the strengths of Rakuten NFT from a technological perspective? Hmm. That's a good question. Rakuten NFT utilizes a solution platform developed by Rakuten Blockchain Lab and is designed to be used similar to a normal web service without worrying too much about blockchain specific structures or rules. Here's what it looks like. Its design features three distinct characteristics. First, it uses its own permission blockchain managed directly by Rakuten. This offers benefit in terms of transaction fee and processing speeds, as well as providing an ability to set certain limitations on the NFT availability and the distribution scale. It's also important to know that the power consumption will be reduced. Second, if an NFT private key is lost, it can be reissued. 
but as a solution and to prevent the accidental leakage of the private key. Rockten store private keys on behalf of the user. User can simply log into the service with just their Rockten ID and password. And last but not least, ta-da! Third, NFT generally require users to purchase fungible token to pay, which allow tracking of transaction record on the blockchain and distribution of commission from secondary sell. However, Rakuten NFT is able to accept payment with a credit card or Rakuten points linked to the user Rakuten ID, and users don't need to purchase fungible tokens. Thank you so much, Trin. So what does the future hold in store for NFTs? To answer this question, we've invited the head of Rakuten Blockchain Lab to join the discussion. We are able to provide owners of specific NFTs with an enhanced user experience by introducing them to exclusive events and contents or other promotional campaigns that involve the Rakuten ecosystem. In addition, the so NFT makes it easy to return the commission earned from a secondary distribution to creators and the content holders, contributing to sustainable content distribution. The furthermore, NFTs could be used to manage ownership of items in digital spaces, like games and the metaverse, or even like to real world assets, like real estate and the cars. Wow, that was informative. Thank you everyone from the Rakuten Blockchain Lab. Next, let's look at things from the marketing side. Rakuten NFT will feature content in a range of areas, including sports, music, art, manga or anime, and idol groups. So what was the reaction to the launch of the service? After the release of the service, the available content sold out within hours and the secondary trade transactions were extremely popular as well. It was like we were creating a whole new market right and then and there. We expect to expand the service to overseas from 2023 under our goal of democratizing the NFT market. We are also considering the potential for providing services that allow P2P issuing and selling of NFT content as well as aiding payment methods that utilize Lactan assets such as Lactan Cash and Lactan Wallet. We believe that Lactan, with a membership base of over 1.6 billion customers, can contribute to expanding the NFT market, though its involvement in the NFT business.